hello friends welcome back to the vlog channel i'm so frustrated right now i just literally had everything set up ready to go about to film an amazon video and i realized that literally 50 percent of the items that i was going to share with you guys are washed and that's part of my review i wash and dry everything first i got completely ready would not have done that um so pushing it off till tomorrow. I have to go meet with my accountant tomorrow morning, take him all of our tax stuff. So I guess I'll go finish that up now. I'm just like super frustrated because I thought I was going to get this done. Um, but it, you know, it'll feel good to have the tax stuff done. I always hate that kind of like looming over my head every year until it's done. Um, but a couple updates. One, wanted to show you guys this gorgeous piece of furniture beside me. My bedroom slippers, you can see them in the mirror. Um, this is a jewelry cabinet that I got. Um, I have some stuff. I'm not going to like go through every single piece. That's a necklace with the baby's name on it. Um, I'm not going to go through every single thing, but like it has a little spot for rings. And then this is where I keep like most worn stuff or like new stuff. And then these first three drawers are thin and have organizers in them. Let's see. And then the last three are like really, actually let me show you this one. Thick deep drawers and they have no organizers in them um so i got that what last thursday i think and i'm loving it it also has a spot let me show you over here it has a spot on either side for necklaces so that's been really cool to have in here but exciting news so if you guys don't follow me on instagram which i think most of you guys do um then you don't know so baby boy was transverse up until Monday of this week. I worked with the chiropractor on Friday and then Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I did exercises to get him head down and he is finally head down. My belly looks so different now though. Like the shape of it. I feel like it's a lot higher again. Like it's gone back to being higher. I had gotten so wide and <laughs> like you can see kind of my diastasis recti forming. Um, it just, he's like, feels so heavy. So like right here, like I'll bend down now and it's actually a lot harder to bend down now because his head is now here versus before his head was over here and his feet were over here. Nope. The feet are up here kicking me in the ribs. I feel like my belly looks so different. Like clothes fit me different now. I eat not as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, baby boy's not transverse anymore. But that is very exciting. We are super excited about that. And then next week is my bridal bridal shower my baby shower so stuff is definitely coming along um sam this past week he doesn't ever like to talk about his accomplishments much less on the internet like i literally had to tell him i was like i have to remind you one more time to text your mother and tell her i'm gonna scream <laughs> so he got a promotion at work um which is super exciting he so deserves it he works so freaking hard and there was one position he had kind of thought about in december um and it was managing people <laughs> so that ended up not being the right fit for him um and so he he could manage people but his age kind of comes into factor a lot with that because he's 26 and the people he would be managing are in their late 30s and early 40s um and then this one is managing systems so he's officially moved up like management supervisor role very deserving um but it does mean that he will not be working from home 100 percent of the time anymore it will be um about 50 percent of the time after he gets trained and then kind of on a need need basis uh but so we're bummed about that but very excited and of course like no one is more deserving of this than him he works so hard he's been at this company for two years in april and this is his second promotion within the company so very impressive but not at all surprising when i say that about sam like that's something like when we tell when i tell my parents I'm like oh sam got a promotion at work they're like yeah i mean makes sense yeah so um really excited about that so we're probably gonna go out this weekend and celebrate that and this weekend is our last weekend when we are not in full-on baby prep mode or have some kind of other plans so my baby shower is next weekend so our goal is go in this weekend kind of get the last little bit of boxes everything out and then um Let's see so we'll do that this weekend and then we'll also kind of like clean the house start to really deep clean the house and then next weekend baby shower the weekend after that organize all the stuff from the baby shower and then after that we are in i'll be 30 34 35 weeks pregnant um the baby keeps measuring ahead so we'll be in like watch mode 
and that is insane. The doctor already mentioned yesterday when I went, she started throwing around the term growth scan. <laughs> I was like, I knew this was coming because I was born, I've told you guys like a hundred times, I was born three weeks early and I weighed eight pounds, eight ounces. My brother was born two weeks early and he weighed 10 pounds and some change. Like I don't know exactly his size, but so Cooper women produce large babies. Um, Sam was born on his due date and I think he also weighed eight pounds, eight ounces. So he in fact had no contributing factor in the fact that this child is a monster baby, but yeah, he's measuring ahead. And so the doctor was kind of like, mm, we might do a growth scan just, just to see if we're still comfortable with that due date. But I can tell you, I'm not comfortable with the due date if he as big as he has been, which is what my mom said. My mom was like, um, no, I'm already dilated. Like, I think she was dilated to a four at 30 weeks pregnant, and they already were like, oh, this baby's super big. And she's like, okay, let's get him out then, please. So I kind of feel like I'm going to be the same way towards the end of mine because it just, it makes me really uncomfortable. Not because of like, I've had people ask, are you not nervous about like ripping or tearing? And I'm like, at the end of the day, I have zero control over it, so I'm not going to stress out about that. I'm more or less just concerned that like he can get here safely and like I won't need a C section. Um, that's more than anything my biggest. I just really really, really don't want to have a C-section. I don't care about anything else. I just really don't want to have a C-section. Uh, so that's kind of an update on what's been going on, but I need to hang up the clothes that I was just about to share with everybody, this top being one of them, and get to finishing up these taxes because, yeah, I guess I'm not filming this video today. This closet is a disaster still. Well, it kind of looks like it. It's not as much of a disaster as I think it looks. Where are my hangers? Hello friends, so I forgot the camera, so you're on the phone. Sorry if it's a little more shaky, but tonight we're going out to celebrate. Sam doesn't like to be celebrated, but we're gonna do it. Um, celebrate his promotion. And we're also gonna go, we forgot the list. I mean, I'm sure we can remember, but we have to go to Lowe's and get, cause you guys know like date nights as adults always turn into like errands. We have to get a rake And magic erasers. Um, but we need our recycle bins are like, I made this whole list of things we have to buy before the baby comes. And it's random things that I know will get just pushed to the wayside once he's here. So like, I can't remember what one of them was. It was like, uh, I need a new toilet brush. And I needed like all these random things. And so I, hold on, my reference. Um, our recycle bins cracked. Like they just have horrible cracks in them and we need new ones. <laughs> She's holding corn out in that yard. This little girl we just drove by, she's standing on a tree stump. Um, and her brother is like running around her. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna go to Willy Taco. If you guys are in the Greenville, they have one in Greenville, Spartanburg. Do they have two in Greenville? I think they do. One on Whitehampton, one. Yeah, I think there's remember. two. I think there's two in Greenville. By the mall. There's one in Spartanburg and um, Tipsy Taco is also good, but Willy Taco is our favorite. We went to Willy Taco for the, like, not for the first time, but after the first time we heard the baby's, or saw the baby's heartbeat, like we went to our first OB appointment and we went and I remember like, I just couldn't even eat. I was just so excited. Um, we were at this restaurant last year, I remember when Sam and I started like really talking about Okay, we're doing this like next month. We're gonna be trying for a baby. And um, here we are. This little stinker is moving today. So it's just one of our like favorite restaurants. So if you are in the Greenville Spartanburg area, Willie Taco is really good. But if you're closer to a Tipsy Taco, it is also a very good place. Pretty, pretty much the same. Yeah, they're pretty much just, they're like that, what is it called? Like Tex Mex. Tex Mex. Really Mexican food. Um, there's another one also on Woodruff Road, but Woodruff Road, I know you guys a lot of hate that, is it's called, oh, I can't think about it. They have this something called like trash can nachos, and you can literally get them, like it's like an appetizer, and it's half off after a certain time or before a certain time, and the trash can nachos literally are enough to feed like three people, so they're really good. But that one's kind of the same. It's like a tex mex -y restaurant, but I'm excited for really talking about interactions and stuff, he's he's not going to be able to help you at all. So what they had him do was 
and yeah. ask each person how much time he He's like, and like a lot of this, I walked into these things not being done. So she understands it. Hey guys, <laughs> Sam's gone. I miss him so much. He is um, at the office today. He has to go, so okay, he got a promotion. I think I told you guys that in the last vlog. Very well deserved. So he is home full time now. His current position, not the supervisor role. He was having to go in twice a month and that was it. He would go in every other Monday. Um, when the new variant spiked, they had a couple months that they took off and he didn't go in. So I don't think he went in, in like at all in December and January. And then I think, like the first week in February. Well, so they had to go in today, his whole team. And then next week, he goes in five days a week for like two to three weeks while he's training. Then when he's done training, he goes in three days a week. I know it's still like awesome to have him home even those two days after he takes a supervisor role, but um, I miss my friend. He's like always here and we're always chatting full time. And so when he's gone, I'm like, <sighs> I miss him so much. I just, I miss him so much. So I'm making some avocado toast. I'm not craving a super big lunch, even though, y'all look at this outfit right now. Can we like talk about this for a second? I'm literally wearing like a cropped shirt that I didn't realize was as cropped as it was when I bought it and pajama shorts with this big old belly. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I look like a crazy person. But I literally just wanted some avocado toast for lunch. So before I eat this, I do want to tell you guys, I got my first bit of Braxton Hicks last night and thank God my doctor warned me. Um, I would have been <laughs> really stressed just because I've never experienced anything like that before. But she told me at my last appointment, she was like, listen, they're inevitable. Like some women don't get them. She was like, but if you do, don't panic. And her, what she told me was, um, she was like, if you're laying down, roll over or get up and walk or drink water. And sure enough, like literally as soon as I stood up and drank the smallest bit of water, they did go away, but it was still just like really scary to get Braxton Hicks all of a sudden. Um, and I was like in the middle of a conversation and then I like froze and Sam was like, what's wrong? And I was like, oh, this is weird. <laughs> uh, but she did warn me about them. So I got them last night for the first time and it was crazy that this is like, this is where we're at. Like we're Braxton Hicks are like a part of a normal conversation being had at OB appointments. Um, and she, you know, of course told me like what their number is for if they're not, if you have this many within an hour, um, regardless of if you can get them to go away or not, you need to come in, you need to call, whatever. Ugh. We are less than eight weeks till this baby gets here. And I am so freaking ready to meet him. I can't even believe it. Like Sam and I just like talk about it all the time. That's literally all we talk about anymore is just how excited we are to get this baby outside soon. So I'm gonna eat my lunch and then I have to film a YouTube video and then see where we go from there.